Now I'm going to demonstrate um, yarn. Mm. There are uh, two parts of NPM. One is NPM, uh, the website that hosts all the packages, and then there's NPM, the command line tool which downloads the packages from NPM site. Um, um, last year, um, companies, um, Yarn, a new package manager for JavaScript called Yarn was released. What happened was that um, uh, some people liked NPM, the site, but they didn't like npm, the command line tool, so they um, created the, um, a new command line tool called Yarn. So I'll demonstrate it. I'll create a new folder. And then I'm gonna create a package JSON file. Uh, so it's Yarn and it. Dash Y, only one uh, dash. And if you see, a uh, new package JSON um, was created. Now I need to um, add a new, install a new uh, package. So let's yarn, add, um, let's see, Vue.js, the name of the package. And one of the big difference between uh, Yarn and NPM um, is that um, Yarn automatically updates um, uh, the package JSON um, without t having to type the dash s um, command, and it also creates a Yarn lock file, um, which uh, lists all the versions of the software, so that when someone else uh, clones your repo um, or has to reinstall all the packages. Um, every time you do it, you'll get the exact same versions of the software, which um, makes it, which is kind of important because even if the version changes, it might introduce a breaking change and your app no longer works. Okay. So once again, you need to add a. Um, Hit ignore file, and you want to um, ignore the node modules. So when you click it, and then you need to init, well, init uh, the git repo, and then when you do git status. You should see um, three files and you want to see the node modules folder. So we can commit this. And then let's say some, uh, let's delete the node modules folder. Pretend uh, you pushed this repo up to GitHub and someone clones it. Now what they have to do to get um, all the packages installed on their machine is yarn install. And what that does, it uh, reads all the packages listed in your package JSON files and then downloads them um, to the project. So like I mentioned before, Yarn came out um, just like last year. So most of the tutorials it, um, you'll see online will still use NPM, but some of the newer ones are moving to Yarn because of um, it's, they say it's faster and it has better, um, if, uh, wait, it has better uh, things going on behind the scenes. And for me, the biggest advantage is you don't have to remember to type the dash s. So that's the end of this demo.